Hello everyone, this is Blender Guppy. In this video, I'll be discussing the DrawCuts operator in Creative Flow. This is a draw functionality in edit mode which allows you to draw a shape and project it as cuts to the faces of the active mesh. Apart from the draw and extract faces, DrawCuts has only one phase, and the controls are exactly the same as a draw faces operator. Using the DrawCuts operator, the view is automatically set to orthographic mode so the cuts lines up perfectly from the front. If you set it to perspective, you can see that the cut lines are no longer lining up straight. This is only a requirement for draw cuts and is not used with draw or extract faces. You can find all the controls in the help UI below the mouse cursor. Since they are exactly the same as the draw faces operator, I suggest you watch that video for a longer explanation of these hotkeys. The draw cuts operator can also mirror itself, but they will not cut the mesh. The mirror is only for viewing the draw shape in symmetry, so you can better judge how the cut will result, especially when using array. In a mirrored mesh using the mirror modifier, the cut must be made on the real geometry side of the mesh. Cutting on the parts that are generated using the mirror modifier will not work. If the modifier setup makes it hard for you to figure out where the real geometry is, just press V and that area will be highlighted in red. In normal drawing, the small x you see while drawing indicates the depth or how far the draw object will be drawn from the viewport. This is crucial to the draw faces operator on where it positions its draw objects. In draw cuts in edit mode, however, it's not that important to watch out where the x is placed, but if the cut result is weird, try and follow the placement rules for the x icon. After drawing, the shape will be highlighted and it's up to you on how you'd go farther with the design. You can inset or extrude this or whatever. The drawing itself has a simple mechanism. If no faces are selected, then you can draw on any faces in the mesh. But if you have any selection, then the draw shape will only cut those areas. Watch out for this as you sometimes may not notice that you have a selection elsewhere, that's why you can cut a particular area. What's great about this is you can use this feature to completely model an asset even without the help of any other functionalities in the add-on. You can combine it with the intersect tools in edit mode to make it even more potent. For me, however, the intermittent use of the object mode and edit mode tools allows for a faster workflow. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, be sure to use the comment section and the links in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.